In this video, we're going to show you how to send crypto from anywhere to your Ledger hardware wallet. And we'll be showing you via a computer or a mobile device. And these steps will work on any Ledger device, whether that be the S series or X series. For the purposes of today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you this on an X. And there'll be some links for Ledger devices in the summary, as well as a timeline so that you can jump to specific parts of this tutorial. For more information, please check out erabethelps.io. If you've traded or bought your first crypto, which may be sat on the likes of a cryptocurrency exchange, it's recommended that you send this to the likes of a hardware wallet with access to your private keys. And in this way, you have complete control of your crypto. This video will be under the assumption that you've already set up your Ledger device and installed Ledger Live which is the software that you use to manage your ledger. But if you're not already at that point, I'll pop my full tutorial below. And the first place we're going to start is over on my desktop. So if I open Ledger Live, to be able to send your crypto to your ledger, you're first going to need the app for that crypto installed on your hardware device. And if you've already got this, you can skip this step. To install the app, head to My Ledger, which was formerly known as Manager and you're going to need your device connected with the USB cable that you got with your ledger. Plus, it's going to need to be unlocked. You'll then receive a notification on your device, which you're going to need to allow. On my device, I do that by pressing the two buttons on the top of it. And when that's all done, we can then see a list of apps in an app catalogue. You'll need to head across to the crypto that you want to send and make sure that that app is installed. So if it's not already, choose Install. To begin with, I'm going to be sending Bitcoin to my ledger. So with the app installed, you're going to need to have an account to send your crypto to. So let's create an account. If you already have an account created, you can simply send to that. Or you can also set up multiple accounts to help to categorize your crypto. You'll then need to head across to your ledger device and confirm to open Bitcoin app in this example. You can then name your account whatever you want such as Bitcoin Main, Bitcoin One, or Bitcoin Trading, for example. So the account has now successfully been added. Let's choose Done. And you'll find your accounts under the Accounts tab from the left-hand side of the screen. So now that we have an account created for Bitcoin, we've essentially also created a wallet address that we can send our crypto to. So I'm just going to search for that account that I've just created. And obviously that's showing up as empty, but if this was an existing account, it would show any balance in here. And I now need to choose to receive. From here, I can then copy the address shown on screen, or I can scan the QR code with a mobile device. And this will essentially pre-populate the same address for you and help to eliminate errors. Before you use the address though, it is worth verifying your address on your ledger device. It's important to verify the address as this will prevent address replacement tax, which is when you're shown a different address on screen and not the real one so that you essentially send your crypto to a hacker. And Ledger helped to prevent this by verifying the address both on screen and on your device just to ensure that they're the same. So if I head back to my Ledger hardware wallet, it'll ask me to verify the address. And just make sure this matches the address that's shown on screen. And now we have the Bitcoin address for our Ledger hardware wallet that we can send to. In the first example I'll show you today, I'm going to be sending Bitcoin from my Coinbase.com account to my Ledger using the address that I've just copied. But the process of sending your crypto will be similar regardless of the exchanges that I show you today. So let's head across to Coinbase.com now. Then choose Send and Receive from the top of the screen. And we want to make sure we're on the Send tab at the top. Next, we're going to enter in an amount that we'd like to send, or you can choose to send all. But it is really important that if you're feeling nervous, that you send a small amount first, just to make sure that you have everything correct here. The problem with crypto transactions is that if you do make a mistake, they are non-retractable. I'm going to send $20 now as a test, and then paste in the Bitcoin address that we just copied from Ledger Live. And you can also enter in a note as a reference for this transaction if you wish. And continue, where it then shows a confirmation. 
as well as the network fee that you're going to be paying for this transaction and how long it's going to take. When you're happy, you can go ahead and send. So I'm just going to fast forward a bit of time now as the transaction took about 20 minutes to complete. If we head back to Ledger Live, you'll see my Bitcoin is now appearing in the Bitcoin trading account that I created earlier. So that was how you can send crypto using the desktop. But if you'd rather use Ledger Live on a mobile device instead, I'll show you how to do that now. And I'm going to be doing this on an iPhone. First, I'm going to open up the Ledger Live app and I'm then prompted to either connect to my hardware wallet via Bluetooth or using a QR code to connect to Ledger Live on the desktop. I'll choose Bluetooth. And once the pairing is successful, your Ledger will then be connected. Then choose Receive from the centre of the screen. So this time as an example, I'm going to be sending some Ethereum from Binance to my Ledger. It will then prompt you for which network you're going to be sending your Ethereum on. And it's important that you choose the correct one for the wallet or the exchange that you're sending from. I'm going to be sending mine on the Ethereum network, so I'm just going to select that from the list. I'm then prompted to pair my device with Bluetooth again and open the Ethereum app on my device. It will then go away and check if I've already had an account for Ethereum on the blockchain. From here, I can either select or create a new account for my crypto to be deposited to. I'm going to select Ethereum 2 and I then receive a warning telling me that it's really important to verify the address as we discussed earlier. This is to prevent address replacement attacks so that you can verify your address from here. Once that's done, copy the address or scan the QR code. I'm just going to copy the address. And if I now head across to Binance Exchange on my mobile, then choose Portfolio from the bottom right of the app and choose Withdrawal. Under the Crypto tab, select or search for the crypto, which as I said is going to be Ethereum in this example. I then need to paste the address that I just copied into the address field. Then select the network if this hasn't been automatically detected. We're going to be sending the account the Ethereum network, but there are a few others that you can choose from here when sending Ethereum. Next, we need to enter in a withdrawal amount. Again, if you're feeling nervous, it is worth paying the network fee twice rather than sending all your crypto and realising that you've made a mistake. At the very bottom of the screen, it then shows the network fees that you're going to be paying for this transaction. When you're happy, you can choose to withdraw. And it will show you a preview so that you can double check everything on screen. So I'm going to review the 0.0077 ETH being sent to my Ledger hardware wallet. And when you're happy, you can confirm. And it'll let you know when that's processing and an estimated completion time. So I'll just fast forward a few minutes now, head back to my Ledger Live app on my mobile, and refresh by pulling down. And the balance is now appearing in my wallet, which is that 0.0077 ETH, and that's showing in my Ethereum 2 account. And that completes how to send crypto to your Ledger hardware device. And as I said, if you don't already have a Ledger, I'll have a link in the summary. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to our website at everybithelps.io for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.